Hi, welcome back to Paige's Picks and Pants. Today we are looking at the Decameron. This is the Criterion edition. Um, and the Decameron is one of three films in a series called the Trilogy of Life. This is very loosely based on uh, the writing by Boccaccio, which was written, um, it was set during an outbreak of the plague in uh, Florence in the 1300s. And it was written in the late 1300s. So it, and it basically what it is, is it is a set of young adults telling stories that are naughty or I don't know. They are, they're, they're entertaining stories and most of them involve sex and or morality or the lack thereof and or poke fun at religion. Um, it's a rather glorious writing and it influenced a lot of other collective story writing. And in fact, the other two uh, movies in this series are Canterbury Tales, which, if you remember, is uh, 15th century England uh, set during the um, pilgrimage. And again, it's people telling stories to pass the time as they're on the pilgrimage. And the Arabian Nights, which again is a whole bunch of stories sort of loosely collected together. Um, so, oddly, um, so Pasolini very important director in Italy, very important cultural figure. Uh, so he was, <laughs> I love this description. So I watched the uh, sort of uh, the featurette that comes with this, um, in which Pasolini is described as a gay Marxist Catholic. And I can't imagine anything being more complicated than that. Um, but yeah, very important figure. So this film, he moves the location from Florence to Naples. And one of Pasolini's things was focusing on the vernacular, on slang, on um, regional dialects, that sort of thing. So a lot of that comes out. I don't speak Italian, so a lot of that went way over my head. Don't know, just read the subtitles. So you don't need to know that. Um, but you should know that he worked with uh, Fellini to doctor scripts that um, needed some touch up as far as regionalism goes. So this guy knew what he was talking about. Um, he also was a writer, uh, wrote poetry and whatnot. Um, in this film, be warned, there is full frontal nudity. Uh, if you are particularly Catholic, this will seem very sacrilegious. There are very naughty nuns. There are crooked priests. There are so many things that, um, yeah, I mean, it's really, it's, it's real, it's probably truer to life than a lot of things. And I think that's probably what his goal was. Um, it's a delightful romp and um like not all the stories have happy endings and that's that's life as well um it's it's very it's set in medieval times so you get all of the sort of gritty feel of the castles uh, or not castles necessarily but you know this very stone buildings simple dwellings um the clothing is uh, different than what we would wear now it's um, but yeah it's a glorious romp and um, I highly recommend it it's uh, it's a great way to pass a couple hours and if you get the Criterion Edition do watch do watch the featurette um, it will help illuminate quite a bit and yeah so I'm definitely picking that uh, it gets like a four and a half stars, I think. Uh, it was it was very entertaining. Um, and I'm going to have to watch the other two in the series now. And in the meantime, this has been Paige's Picks and Pans, and I'll be back again soon. Thank you.